Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Bam. <laughs> Bam. So, very exciting. We're going to the motherland tonight. We're popping over <laughs> to Ikea um, because we've not been in a really, really long time. You got out of it last time because I went with my sister. Um, she, she, well, I was gonna say she took a bullet, but my sister loves Ikea just as much as I do. Yeah. Um, but we haven't been in a while. They've got loads of new stuff in stock because I've been having a nosy at like people's stories and stuff. But we also want to go and test out a couple of sofas, I think, don't we? Yes. We wanna go and have a sit on a couple of things. So there's nothing in particular that we need but i'm definitely just going and having a bit of a snoop i just want to see what's new in stock um yeah and we're gonna go and like boys <laughs> we're gonna go and have a sit on a few bits just to see if we like them or not so let's go let's go let's go first room layout we saw when we went into the store was actually this one here so there's a couple of things I actually really liked in this first one was this chair here I just thought it was a great little kind of chair to have in the corner or something and these um chest of drawers here as well I thought these would be great as bedside tables they're really practical for good storage and they're only 30 pounds so you could potentially paint them out style them up to kind of fit your decor a little bit better they also have um some matching wardrobes so to the left here there's a single wardrobe this is 50 pounds next up we moved into this more kind of dark moody style bedroom um, there's actually a few newish things that I saw in here that I thought were really nice. I thought these black metal um, kind of bookcases were really, really nice and they're great for just styling cute little bits. Another thing I spotted was this mirror here. These are relatively new. This is the oval one. It's a really, really good size and it's super affordable and I really like the kind of black thin metal frame on it. This is Steve telling me that he really likes the kind of all-mounted stuff and I do think the Bester range is actually really, really nice for that. It's something that we consider getting in the future. I noticed this rug hanging up. This is new and it was so nice. It's a really good kind of mix of greys, blues, some neutral colours as well. This was actually super expensive. It was £229, but it is handmade. It does look really nice as well, but I was just shocked that it was that price at Ikea. And this down here is something I saw online that I shared with Steve. It's actually an air purifier for £50. It was blowing out cold air, um, so I don't know if it doubles up as a fan, but I actually thought it looked quite nice. I love it when they style these bedrooms with little en suites as well. You can see, you can see how it kind of flows through. Um, I obviously love the big round mirrors. I thought these bowls on top of the units were really nice as well and a really good price. But most of all, I love this organization in the vanity with soft closed drawers. Steve is telling me that he likes these shelves, but I was disagreeing with him. I don't really like the kind of chromey color of them. Next up, we went into the kind of sofa chair area. Steve sat on the very first sofa as soon as we went in, which was not one that we were here to look at, but I did notice they had quite a few new, like nice little chairs and stuff. So this is the chair that I was just talking about a second ago. So they also have a couple of colors, the kind of khaki and this light gray. 45 pounds I thought was a really good price just to have it as like a little spare occasional chair. I also thought the shape of this was really interesting. It was £75 for a single kind of wooden chair. I don't think it'd be very comfortable or that practical, but I just like the style of it. And also this kind of bamboo-y rattan cane vibe as well is very, very in right now. So this one was £99.
This is a sofa that we came in to look at today. Um, I absolutely love the really kind of square um, arms on it. I don't think they had all of the fabric samples in this book, so I did like this kind of dark grey one. This is the other sofa we came to look at, which is the Vimli, I think. Um, this one was a little bit more comfortable. Both were really comfortable though. We had like a good sit and kind of tested them both out and they were super comfortable. These are the different samples for the Vimli. I wasn't as convinced by the fabrics that they had on offer. They had a couple of dark gray ones, like a beigey one. I thought this one was a little bit too flat. Um, wasn't textured enough and then this one was like a little bit too um i don't know like too many kind of colors and details going on in that one but we're only really browsing and just having a look really I also wanted to come and take a look at some sofa beds as well, just out of interest. Steve went a little bit rogue here. Um, this is the one that I know everyone has. Um, it's not very comfortable to sit on. This is Steve shaking his head in disagreement. But as a kind of spare sofa bed thing, I actually thought it was quite a good option. So basically it just pulls out really, really easily. And I just quite like the simple kind of square shape of it. This is Steve pretending to have a nap on it. Um, he said it was actually quite comfortable to lie on. I think these are about 400 pounds. It depends what kind of fabric you go for. The prices vary a little bit. And then over here, this cream one up against the wall is actually just like the four seater version of it. And I actually really, really like this fabric. Um, it's a really nice kind of grazy style fabric. So in a second here, you're gonna see Steve try and put it back. I wanted to see what it looked like as an actual sofa and once you know how to do it it's really simple but our little brains were really really struggling with this. So here it is as a normal sofa, minus one of the back cushions. Steve said it was really comfortable um, and it's still a really good price as well. Yeah. Which considering I'm six foot. I like this color though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't sleep with your arms out like that, do you? Moving into this kind of lounge setup, this is that first sofa I showed you guys, the Kivik, um, styled in an actual room. And actually they didn't have this fabric in the fabric book when we looked, but this fabric was so much nicer than the other ones they had on show. It, it's more of a kind of like light stony gray and it has a very slight kind of linen-y um, cotton feel to it, but I thought this one looked a lot more expensive than the other ones we were looking at before. Into the kitchen section, I always love to look at the kitchen to Ikea. Um, I did notice they had a lot of black kitchens. I don't know whether that's in at the moment or not, um, but we were just having a look. I love all the kind of pull out drawers on the inside. They had one of these hobs with the extractor fans in the middle. It was a little bit pricey, um, but yeah, loads of really good kind of like inspiration for kitchen organization and different ways to kind of style the kitchens up.
We were having a browse at this kind of like integrated wall height section here as well. They have more drawers in there as well. But the coolest thing they had was actually this kind of like utility cleaning cupboard. It had this pull out system. I've never seen these here before, but I thought this was such a good idea. It was a really great way to like convert an existing cupboard into like a really practical cleaning cupboard. I noticed a lot more of this in store, this kind of like really nice light wash wood with the black handles. It's not normally my cup of tea, but I thought it worked really, really well. I also love this kind of black pull out spray hose type tap as well. Another thing we noticed was actually their extractor hoods. They had some really unique styles, really nice like matte black ones. There was quite a few to choose from actually. Let me know what you guys think about the black kitchen thing. Do you think it's too much? I quite like a dark kitchen, but I don't know if the black is a little bit too harsh. I love this countertop though. This is one of the kind of custom counters they do there. Another thing I've been keeping my eye on is a new office chair. So I actually tried out um, this one. They have two different back heights. They're not the most comfortable, to be honest. Like I don't think they provide enough support for an office chair. I did find one I liked, but it was like 280 pounds, which I thought was ridiculous for Ikea. Into another bedroom set up here. So these oval mirrors, are the ones I showed you at the beginning of the video, I love them in this kind of ensuite setup, having the his and hers. You'd have to have quite a big bathroom to get away with this, but I thought it looked really cool. And of course, I'm obsessing over the vanity storage there as well. One thing that I am pretty sure is new is this light here. They had loads of these kind of globe lightings. They had a massive kind of chandelier one and they had a couple of little wall lights as well. So that was 90 pounds. At this point, I'm telling Steve that I want to look at some of the bedding because that's one thing I want to kind of keep an eye open for and I want to just be able to kind of touch some of them and see how soft they are. There was one set in particular that caught my eye and it's this one here, this like light beigey gray color. I love that this bedding had creases in it because I think it has that nice kind of unmade but made bedding styling, if you know what I mean. This was 19 pounds for the whole set, for the, a double set with the duvet cover and the cushion covers as well. Um, and they also do it in these two colors as well, the white and the light gray. It's this really nice kind of cottony, linen-y effect bedding. It looks really great when it's still like creased and crinkled, um, but it felt really good quality and it was only 19 pounds, so I was absolutely gobsmacked. Like I said, this wood and black 
um, kind of vibe seems to be very in right now. This is just one of the PAX wardrobes, but I love these kind of oversized handles on it. And I mean, who doesn't love a PAX wardrobe? I love all the kind of extras they add into them. So I nearly walked past the autumn section. There wasn't a lot here. I saw these kind of packs of three different pumpkins. Um, I wasn't in love with the color, but I did think that you could easily paint them out and make them match your decor quite nicely. This is one thing I've seen on Instagram a lot and it's a felt zip up pumpkin. I really didn't see the point in it if I'm completely honest. Um, it wasn't really my vibe. But here are the kind of like little pumpkins again. They look quite nice styled on a plate. And actually I did really like this serving dish, which was 19 pounds. It's a really, really good size for like hosting people. If you guys watched my Asda tour, I saw some wine glasses and you guys said, get these ones. They're a lot cheaper. They were one pound 50 each and they do look very similar. Next up, I moved on to the kind of cushions. They had some really, really nice kind of neutral um, colored cushion covers. I love this kind of subtle stripey one here. They had some like linen effect ones. They had some darker color ones as well. Um, loads that I hadn't noticed before, but I'll definitely come back and get some of these at some point. I also wanted to take a look at some of their curtains. So these are all of the room darkening curtain ones. And I love these ones because they're textured, but they didn't have a color that I was completely in love with. These dark ones here, I actually already have in my kitchen, uh, but they had loads of the kind of non-textured smooth ones. Um, but yeah, they're very good price for like what they are. I noticed quite a few new kind of bedspreads and stuff in. This is one style here. It's this kind of um, textured line style. They do it in a dark gray and they also do it in the white. That's 19 pounds. And I also saw this kind of waffle style one as well. Uh, again, they had it in a really dark gray and a white and that was 29 pounds, but they're pretty good sizes. Ikea's basket section is already incredible, but they have added even more to it. These are ones I haven't seen before, 19 pounds, really nice kind of blanket basket or something like that. And also I've never noticed these lights before. I don't think they're new, but they might be. Into the kind of faux flower section, I saw these. So these are kind of like great hurricane jars for like candles or just like nice little vases. I think they did a set of three down here, which was actually 13 pounds, which is really good. I also spotted these plates. As you can see, there's not many of them, but I thought these were really cool for like summer dining. I know it's not summer anymore, but like having a nice kind of feast outside, having some nice plates. Um, and also these little, I can't remember what they're called, sand timer things. Um, I thought these were really good for like shelf styling, things like that. They're just really, really simple. Right, so this is something I spotted online before I came and it's this rug. Let me know what you guys think of this rug. I love the color. It's a really nice kind of wool flat woven rug, but it has this tassel detailing across the whole of it. Let me know what you think. I'm a little bit torn. I love it, but I also think it's a bit odd. I feel like they've expanded their range of doormats as well. They had some really nice plain ones, which were about 350 and all of the kind of printed ones were about five pounds. I really like that kind of Dalmatian print one, just as a simple kind of spotty one there as well. Onto the rugs, this is an indoor outdoor one. It's not new, but I think this is so practical to have in like a dining area, as well as this one here. I don't think I've seen this before, but I know that kind of like variation in color is very, very popular. I mean, you guys know that the Ikea rug range is, is pretty good. Right, so I completely forgot to sign us off last night. We ended up getting back late-ish. So we got back about 8.30, hadn't had any dinner. Picked up some Mackies on the way home. Um, had that for dinner instead. But um, I tried to just film the bits in store, but 
I hadn't seen before, things that I thought were kind of like new-ish items. I know one thing everyone's going crazy for is the kind of autumn stuff. We don't normally decorate for autumn. We're not gonna do it this year because um, we're obviously looking to like move house soon. Um, but we'll probably like decorate maybe like next year or something depending on what happens. The, I, I wasn't that impressed to be honest with the autumn stuff. I don't think there was a lot in there. Um, the only thing that I thought was quite cute is they had these little kind of mini pumpkin. It's like a pumpkin, like a pear and something else. But they were kind of that paper mache material. I think they were like a greyish colour. But I thought that would be really cool. You could easily paint that to kind of match your decor and they were pretty affordable. I think they were definitely having a stock up in the store. A stock up? They were like restocking stuff. So there were a couple of things that we kind of needed like we wanted more like wooden spoons and stuff like that like kitchen utensils and like all of the kind of bins that they had them in were like completely empty so yeah i think they were maybe having a bit of like a restock day so there were certain things that weren't in store overall i don't think there was like a lot of new stuff one of the things that i saw i have seen it previously but i absolutely love is their mirrors um, they have these newish ones. One of them's like a big oval one. They have these huge um, round mirrors with like a really, really thin black frame. I think the big round ones are about 40 quid and the oval ones are like 60 or 80 or something like that. They look like such high quality. They look so good. I don't think you would ever kind of think that they were from Ikea. So I definitely want to get one of those in the future. We tried out the sofas as well. We both like the Kivik and the Vimli. I'll put the names on the screen because I obviously can't pronounce them. One thing that I have always wanted from there is one of their really big mirrors, actually. I think it's called the Hobbit. Um, it's a huge kind of industrial style mirror with like a really big kind of like metal frame. Um, I had like previously haven't had anywhere to put it and like I just kind of said to Steve, I was like, oh yeah, one day I definitely want to get one. Um, but I would paint the frame black. But I said to Steve, they're about 90 quid. They're a huge mirror. So I do think that's a good price for like such a big mirror. But I personally don't like buying something full price, like 90 quid to then paint it. I'd rather find one on like Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree or something like that and then paint it, if that makes sense. Um, but we went and looked at Bargain Corner at the end and they had one on offer. I think it was 25% off. So basically it said that it had just been returned without the packaging. Um, and one of the staff came over and said, I'll discount it more for you. Um, and we were so close to getting it. And then we realized there was a really big ding in the side of it. Um, so it was very close to picking something up, but we mainly just went to kind of have a browse, see what was new in store. Oh, there was loads of like new lighting as well, actually, like loads of new lighting. Um, so yeah, definitely worth going and checking stuff out. They've also bought out a new, I'll have to like look up the name of it. It's a new range of, they do these little drawers for £30 and they also do like a matching kind of small wardrobe for £50. I actually quite like the colour, it's a bit different, they're very simple, but they're, it's such a great item to be able to um, buy, I'll put it in a photo of what I'm talking about, um, buy the drawers, and you could, because they're, they're such small drawers, you could have them as bedside tables, paint them out um, to match the rest of your room, and they're only £30, um, and you can like, change the handles on them really easily, so they've got some new kind of really, really affordable items in there as well, so yeah. I always rate Ikea, um, so I'd always recommend going. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys sort of were able to get a little bit of a insight as to what's in store at the moment. Just for reference, I went to the Bristol one. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.